In this problem, we have to represent 3 upon 4, negative 5 upon 8, negative 7 upon 4 and 7 upon 8 on the number line. Now, before we begin with the solution, let us first see how the integers are generally represented on the number line. Integers can be represented by taking positive integers to the right of the point O and negative integers to the left of the point O. This can be shown on the number line. Zero is the central point on the number line and to the right of the point zero we have positive integers that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Similarly, on the left of the point 0, we have negative integers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and so on. The length between the consecutive integers. This length is considered to be unit length. As we know, integers are also rational numbers with denominator 1. This shows that every rational number has a corresponding point representing it on the number line. Similar to integers, all negative rational numbers will lie to the left of the point 0 and all the positive rational numbers will lie to the right of the point 0. Now, the first problem is 3 upon 4. First we will draw the number line indicating the point 0 and the integers on it. side we have negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3. To represent 3 upon 4, we have to divide the unit length between 0 and 1 into 4 equal parts because the denominator in, in the rational number 3 upon 4 is 4. Now let us divide it. 1, 2, and 3. So we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. Then take 3 out of the 4 parts. This is because the numerator we have is 3 which indicates 3 out of 4 parts. So let us represent it in the number line. We have to take 3 out of the 4 parts that is this is the first part, this is the second part and this is the third part. Therefore, this point indicates the rational number 3 upon 4. Let us represent this point with an alphabet capital A. Therefore, A represents the rational number 3 upon 4 on the number line. 